Konnichiwa. Everybody, I'm glad you made it back to this week's video. Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out next year and I thought to myself why not we play all the old games for good measure and to refresh my memory of the games. Which is why I got myself these bad boys. I just managed to go through all of them and since these are all the final mix versions of the game, why not just go through all the extra content as well? This is a huge amount of content added to the game, so to speak a director's cut of the game. And especially the second one has incredible amounts of content that you can go back to and revisit all the worlds, which I highly recommend. But the most content that I had trouble unlocking was in Birth by Sleep. Birth by Sleep, ever since it came out on the PSP, it's one of the most beautiful games on that system. But also when you wanted to unlock all of the content there, or the secret episode in particular, you had an incredible hard time because you had to unlock 100% of the game. Which changed in the final mix version of the game. So I thought, let's read about it on the internet. And by God, let me tell you, I dare you, go to Google right now and type in Birth by Sleep secret episode and you will find 1 million different answers. Some will tell you you have to 100% the game, the others will tell you you have to play the game on hard or proud or critical mode. Then the others will tell you you have to collect a certain amount of items or you have to kill 9999 enemies through all the characters. And I, I just almost lost confidence in myself and I didn't want it to do it, but then I found a thread on Reddit that said you have to complete two of the characters on proud mode or critical Plus you have to collect all the stickers and get 140 points in the sticker album. Which basically means position the stickers in the right place so you get 7 points for each sticker. And this was the closest that I was because I finished the game on uh, Proud Mode with Terra, Normal on Ventus and on Easy with Aqua since I just wanted to get through the game. And the closest way for me was finishing Aqua again on Proud Mode which I was uh, not so confident about because Aqua is my uh, third uh, favorite character in all of the in from all of the three characters, so she's my least favorite because she's on the weaker side when it comes to fighting. She she's a good magician, but I don't play magicians. I don't do magic. I just like uh, just a good brawler like Terra, and uh, I get through the game. But uh, since I found a one good spell that I could use and the surges filled up pretty quick. I used the spell weaver or the finishing move that I just had equipped and got through the game fairly easy. Plus I collected all of the stickers throughout the game. There's uh, one, two, three stickers in each world and I recommend every time you find one you position it so that you get seven points every time you move around, you know. Sometimes when you, when you add a sticker it uh, decreases the value of the point or of the sticker because it has to be closer to a different sticker. Just play around. There's a, a YouTuber, Vdrums, I think. I'll link his uh, channel in the description that uh, shows you how to collect them, where they are. Maybe one or two you will miss, but uh, that's what YouTube is for. Leave a like, subscribe to, to Vdrums or Wdrum, and excuse me. Yeah, Wdrum, that's what it was. And say that Ghostface Gamer sent you. The hardest part should be Terra's final boss fight because you are stripped of all of your equipment preset equipment, mind you, all of your skills and you have to make do with the things that the game gives you, which is doable but annoying nonetheless. Or maybe even uh, Aqua's final boss fight, and I mean the one in the final episode, once you finish the game, uh, when you fight Xehanort, because he's very quick and very strong, if you're not careful like me, I'm, I, I tried to rush him and dominated him for the most time, but then I made one mistake, one failed dodge attempt and it's done. But once you get through all of that, this notification will pop up. And sorry for the quality, I took it with my camera straight from the TV because I was overwhelmed, it happens like this. And I didn't want to hook up my uh, capture card for this. You create a new file and the next time you load it up, you will have the secret episode unlocked. So once you've done all of that, two characters on Proud, one of them has to be Aqua and collected all the stickers with 140 points in the album, you will get the uh, secret episode, which is I think on normal, because every time I went into a fight, the monsters just die almost instantly and the final boss fight was the easy pickings. I got in there like level 40, 39 maybe, and with Erika's sword, the master's guard, it shouldn't be a problem anyway. It has the same stats as young Zehanor's Keyblade, the one that you get once you defeat him. It's balanced out between strength and magic. It's pretty straightforward, you go in a straight line, fight some fights, open some, some ways, 
And don't forget to get all of the chests there, because there are some mighty items and mighty magic in there, which you can use later on. So the next thing I want to do is uh, to play the Aqua storyline in the 2.8 Kingdom Hearts and finish it up 100% also and then just wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 to hit me. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this helped and uh, see you next time in the next video. Have a beautiful weekend, take care, bye.